Hey, Susan, how you doing? I could not agree more. PH Learning is wonderful, just fantastic. Really good design advice too. Not only tutorial advice, but design advice. So you're in good hands with that resource, definitely. Uh, I wouldn't hesitate to take design advice from that. You know, as we go out to YouTube, and this is kind of one of the things we're talking about in this week's um, a presentation, staying relevant. One of the re most important things about doing research and, and trying to um, attain new skills and techniques in Photoshop is to is you know a tutorial is one thing, but design advice is another. And I always maintained the caveat to students to, to be careful what design advice you take. Okay, so for example, if you go to lynda.com, you take every bit of advice they give you and, 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 you know, it's good advice coming from seasoned professionals. So there's no hesitation taking it, that design advice from, from lynda.com. And I feel the same way about th, uh, PH Learn, I, a little bit different on some other YouTube channels and YouTube sites who go out there and it's like, you don't have, you don't know the credentials of the person that's giving the advice or the tutorial. So you got to be careful in that to a high degree is some of the relevance associated with that staying relevant presentation. Okay, and also I, I want to address this that you said the creating the miniature tilt effect. It makes an image look like a setting in a miniature town. That's really cool and awesome and everything. But again, staying relevant, you look at these videos and these tutorials and you say, okay, this is really cool. It might be fun to do on my own time, but how often am I going to use this? And is it worth taking the hour investment um, to learn a technique that you probably feasibly won't ever use in your professional career. So again, another very interesting point there. Um, straighten with grids video. This is interesting. This is called, Susan, this is called keystoning. And keystoning is a perspective distortion that's typically based on a, a photograph. And we find it quite often in when we use our wide angle lens, which I'm guessing you used here. Uh, again, it's called keystoning. And it's, this is a fantastic tutorial. It's a great tutorial. Um, on uh, circumventing the effects. And what happens if you have a wide angle lens, especially it happens with your standard lens too. Wide angle lens, if you're not perfectly, perfectly level, um, you could get some keystoning. That's perspective distortions. So, and it happens all, as you know, as you know, you've shared so many photographs and you're obviously uh, astute with a, with a camera. So this is something that is spe specifically uh, relevant to, to someone like you who, who who's a photographer as well. Okay, so fantastic. Um, really great job. I appreciate it. And uh, um, again, a really good read. Thanks so much for sharing.